Photography is without question an international language, transcending la language barriers. And in this internet age, especially with the rise and rise of social media, images are more uh, powerful as a communication tool than ever before. Imagery is being used increasingly to make a point on any number of global issues and effectively tell the story, often in a single frame. We're constantly being bombarded with images that may or may not prick our collective conscience, be it war, famine, pollution, global warming, uh, or indeed our disappearing flora and fauna. However, when a particular issue is covered in our media, the type of images used tend to be provocative, unsettling, or harrowing uh, to make a point. Uh, so you might recognize uh, this. Uh, this is the, obviously, Oklahoma hurricanes. Uh, this amazing picture uh, is the uh, aftermath of the uh, tsunami in Japan. Our disappearing uh, polar ice caps. Uh, pollution, obviously. Uh, this is in Rio. Uh, this is a result of the BP oil spill. And probably um, something that really, really hit home with me. Uh, this was a story shot by a photographer called uh, Brent Sturton, who actually won World Press Photo for this. Uh, and this was uh, um, the death of, uh, the murder, really, of uh, a troop of uh, silverback gorillas uh, in, in the Congo, which actually uh, caused global outrage. Um, but as I say, it's a good example of a thought provoking image and a harrowing image uh, to make a point. But uh, imagery doesn't necessarily have to be shocking to be thought-provoking. And to demonstrate this point, uh, the imagery of one man combined with the vision of another led directly to a change in how we viewed our natural world. And in turn, preserve a unique ecological region of North America, so for the enjoyment of future generations. And bear in mind that this is the only place in the world that giant redwoods grow. Uh, so these amazing trees, together with the sequoias and Maripisa Grove and uh, everything that Yosemite entails, might have been logged many, many years ago.